Today's morning devotional. The shepherd gave his life for the sheep. I know my sheep and my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. John chapter 10 verses 14 and 15. I have endured your sorrows, experienced your struggles, encountered your temptations. I know your tears, I also have wept. The griefs that lie too deep to be breathed into any human ear, I know. Think not that you are desolate and forsaken. Though your pain touch no responsive chord in any heart on earth, look unto me, and live. The mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord that hath mercy on thee. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 10 However much a shepherd may love his sheep, he loves his sons and daughters more. Jesus is not only our shepherd, he is our everlasting father. And he says, I know mine own, and mine own know me, even as the father knoweth me, and I know the father. John chapter 10 verses 14 and 15 What a statement is this! The only begotten Son, he who is in the bosom of the Father, he whom God has declared to be, the man that is my fellow, Zechariah chapter 13 verse 7, the communion between him and the eternal God is taken to represent the communion between Christ and his children on the earth. Because we are the gift of his Father, and the reward of his work, Jesus loves us. He loves us as his children. Listener, he loves you. Heaven itself can bestow nothing greater, nothing better. Therefore trust. Jesus thought upon the souls all over the earth who were misled by false shepherds. Those whom he longed to gather as the sheep of his pasture were scattered among wolves, and he said, Other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and they shall become one flock, one shepherd, John chapter 10 verse 16. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. That is, my Father has so loved you, that he even loves me more for giving my life to redeem you. In becoming your substitute and surety, by surrendering my life, by taking your liabilities, your transgressions, I am endeared to my father. While as a member of the human family he was mortal, as God he was the fountain of life for the world. He could have withstood the advances of death, and refused to come under its dominion, but voluntarily he laid down his life, that he might bring life and immortality to light. He bore the sin of the world, endured its curse, yielded up his life as a sacrifice, that men might not eternally die. Surely he hath borne our griefs, and carried our sorrows, Isaiah chapter 53 verse 4.